Well, scientists are sounding the alarm about a cicada invasion coming this summer. Uh, we are talking billions of these large insects ready to hatch and make noise. Richard Jacobus explains why they are being unleashed on us this year in particular. In just a few short weeks, more than 15 states across the U.S. will see a rare phenomenon, one that is so spectacular, but could also be quite noisy. Periodical cicadas are, are insects of climate. Uh, they're attuned to temperature. They start emerging when the soil reaches 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, cicadas could be coming soon. Billions of them are now just weeks away from bursting from that soil. Brood X is the massive swarm that's been burrowed underground for nearly two decades. You're going to find these in wooded areas. If they're in your area, keep your eyes and ears open. Professor Gene Kritsky is a cicada expert, so much so that he even has a giant cicada on his Zoom background. Kritsky says three different species could populate parts of the Northeast by mid-May. All three combined will make for a pretty loud sound. But this is high-pitched whine that sort of sounds like a 1950s science fiction movie in the flying saucers landing. <laughs> That's the best description I can have. The other ones are more like buzz clicks. Uh, and uh, the third species uh, uh, that's coming out uh, sounds like a rotary sprinkler head. That the, the good news is that cicadas are harmless and their hatch mostly provides food for birds, animals and larger insects. Jessica Ware from the American Museum of Natural History says prepare though for the biggest and possibly most boisterous brood around. We expect that there'll be thousands and thousands of individuals that'll be coming out with, with when brood 10 emerges, it's a big emergence because a lot of a lot of individuals in the population. Back to Professor Kritsky and his virtual cicada. He has developed an app encouraging Northeast residents to go out and look for cicadas, snap a picture, and map out the brood. But you may want to hold your ears. It can be quite intense. Richard Giacobus, Fox 5 News.